the first thing that I want to say is that do not wait for symptoms of diabetic related complications of the eye. Okay? The, the disease should be detected and treated before there are symptoms. And I find this mistake happening day in and day out. Okay? But if somebody has not bothered to show themselves, then very commonly they come either with blurred vision, distorted vision, or they come with suddenly seeing these black spots floating in their field of vision, which is actually the bleeding which has started. So all of these are very, very late. And all this should have been prevented if there had been a timely examination and treatment. So we request uh, all the physicians and all the diabetics that we ever come across that they should have their eyes and more specifically their retinas examined. That is after you dilate the pupils on the day that they become diabetic or very, very soon. And then they should be seen annually, every year, every year without fail irrespective of whether they have symptoms or don't have symptoms. You see, there can be a lot of diabetic retinopathy occurring, but till the main part of the retina is not affected or there has not been bleeding, the patient will not have symptoms. So we always want them to come uh, as soon as they are di uh, diagnosed and then annually after that. So once we, we look at the patient, and we find the signs which are so characteristic of diabetes, then to understand the ex exact extent of the disease, we commonly advise two tests. So one is an angiography of the eyes. Okay? It's far simpler than the angiography of the heart, but we inject a certain dye which flows in the blood vessels of the entire body and it flows in the blood vessels of the retina. When it flows in the retina, we take rapid photographs and by means of tracing the dye, we know where is the leakage, we know where the blood supply has got blocked, which area of the retina is not getting blood, and where are these new blood vessels forming, which can then bleed into the eye. The other test is called an OCT. It's a very simple scan, hardly takes a few seconds, and that tells us very specifically about the swelling of the retina in the main part of the eye. So these two tests are very, very often ordered to understand. And if a person has uh, had hemorrhage in the eye, we can't see the retina. Then we have to do an ultrasound to see if the retina is in its place or has it got detached, etc. There are some who've, who've come, you know, come just about in time. Yes, we are you know, fortunately able to restore a lot of their vision, if not all. Some, of course, don't come at that time. But on the other extreme, I have patients who come regularly and regularly and they've been diabetic for 20 years, 30 years, but because they are so good with their sugar controls and so good with showing their eyes, I can do small treatments here, there and keep them going. Treatment, we keep a follow up constantly because the diabetes is not leaving the body, so it can attack again and again. So I have patients who've received 60, 70 injections, lasers, multiple sittings. It's an ongoing process, you know, between the patient and the doctor. You know, it becomes a long-term relationship, actually. But if they do that, we are able to keep them going, you know, in some ways at least. And of course, control of blood sugars, control of blood pressures, see that you're not anemic, look after your kidneys, no smoking. You know, it sounds a lot of no's, but all of these are very, very easily doable. And some of my patients wisen up. Some of them wisen up after suffering and, you know, and some are wise from before, from the day that they become diabetic.